worship your people, O oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Tonight is a prayer meeting. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I, we know that we have need. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have some, some prayer requests tonight that we need to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Yanis Church. Uh, let's pray for the upcoming crusade of the Bible school in Corfu and in Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise yeah. God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. More prayer requests. Praise God. Hallelujah. We pray also our this, our coming conference. Yeah. Our speakers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Pastor Jonathan and family and Brother Simeon and family, praise God. Praise Hallelujah. We are excited. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Well, we just continue to pray to the Lord that the Lord will give us more strength. Hallelujah. I'm excited that Pastor said that God have something to us tonight. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Did you believe that? Yeah. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. We give you the glory and praises, O oh God, hallelujah, Lord Jesus, once again, O oh God. We humble ourselves, God, in your presence tonight, O oh God. Lord, cleanse our mind, O oh Lord, cleanse our spirit, O oh God, cleanse our heart, O oh God, hallelujah. As we are going to receive your word, O oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lead us tonight, O oh God, hallelujah, as we continue to hear your voice, O oh God. Hallelujah, we pray, O oh God, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, in this church, oh God, that the leadership is in this church, oh God, that you will be abide us, oh God, hallelujah, Lord God. We pray, oh God, our, oh God, hallelujah, oh Lord Jesus, hallelujah, we pray, oh God, our, oh Lord Jesus, ang aming Panginoon, oh God, hallelujah, gawain Panginoon, sa korpong Panginoon, sa darating na, hallelujah, gawain Panginoon, sa 24, oh God, hallelujah, Panginoon, ang manguna, Panginoon, oh Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And we pray, oh God, oh to our Lord, our national confidence, oh God, is coming. November, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let your power move in this place, oh God, hallelujah. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We claim the victory in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We give you honor, oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, Keep continuing praying. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, where two or three will gather in my name, I am in the midst of thee. Jesus is there. Oh, no one like you, God. No one besides you, God. No one before you. No one shall be after you. Let you go till you bless my life. And God blessed him. 
Hallelujah. It's an offering time. I will just pray shortly for the for the offering and then we will continue the, the praise and worship. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you. And God, we offer to you our offerings, God. God, we pray for our employers. Bless them. Bless our pockets, God. Never the crisis will hit our ground. Never the crisis will touch our houses in the name of Jesus, God. Bless the pockets. Bless the people. Bless the employers, God. Bless the finances, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for what you have given to us. You have given us everything and we give you all the glory, honor and praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.
Children, children of my people, if you knew only that which I have in store for you, if you knew how close you are to touching and gaining those things uh, that you have visioned, uh, I say to you tonight, just press forward on. Uh, do not draw back. Uh, do not allow your minds to be tainted by the enemy of this world. Oh, my people, my children, I call to thee tonight. Uh, you thirst for me and I thirst for you. Uh, I will come to you and you must come to me. Hallelujah. Oh, watching or if there's any guests here or whatever but we just we just focus in on worshiping Jesus and praising Jesus and speaking that the spirit gives utterance to us that tongues or anointed prayers and just just give it until it just the world becomes oblivious to us We would move into a dimension with God like this world hasn't seen in a long time. We will move into, into a dimension with God. Amen. That the apostles would understand what's going on. Are you with me here tonight? Are you with me here tonight? We've got to get past coming to church to see people. We've got to get past coming to church to be seen or to look at the good clothes and all that. We've got to move beyond that and get in the place. When we worship God, we're going to worship God with all that we've got. Amen. And uh, I think we all recognize to our prayer lives through our spiritual touch with God that uh, when we worship God at the crossroads there's a very strong atmosphere of God's presence and uh, I'm believing it's God's purpose and God's desire and as much as is within me is I am going to try and move in that direction to where there would be such an anointing in this house. That it would cloud of glory, amen, would just come in this house. And 
where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, amen, there's everything that we need. Amen. And so I am asking, and I, when we begin to worship God, I'm wanting you to obey the Spirit. If you have a need, if you need deliverance, if you need healing, if you need encouragement, I want you to just start walking out and come to the front and just start praising God more vehemently more than just give it your all. Because for God's power to be activated, there has to be an act of faith. You understand what I'm saying? And so if you step out and come out and walk down the aisle, you, you know what that is? That's an act of faith. And you are showing God, I'm coming to you, Lord. You've got everything I need. Hallelujah. And I believe by that act of faith, you'll get your healing and you'll get your miracles. Hallelujah. We do not need to be hindered by program if possible. You don't need somebody to lay their hand on you and put a bunch of oil on your head. You don't need that. Amen. God is capable of healing you and saving you. Just you and God. Just you and God. Hallelujah. Now, I know the Bible says the laying on of hands, but I think the, he's talking about the Bible says first, if any man is sick, let him pray. Let him pray. And if you don't get deliverers, then call for the elders of the church to come and anoint with oil. The first commandment there is let the person do the praying. You pray to God. You can get it for yourself. Hallelujah. And the next verse says, if they had committed, committed any sin, it will be forgiven them. A lot of people are not getting what they need because there's sin in their lives. Amen. But if there's no sin in your life, you should be able to just step out in faith and get what you need. Amen. Hallelujah. So, think it not strange, brothers and sisters, if by tomorrow we start worshiping God and this house begins to flood over with God's glory and presence that people would just step out. And come to the front and start worshiping God. Hallelujah. There'll be another surprise tomorrow. I'm having all my deacons, amen, set up front. Back up. <laughs> Hallelujah, back up. Praise God. I feel the Holy Ghost still. Are y'all with me? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Do you have the same vision that I have? Amen. I read in the Bible where God, amen, can do anything. Praise the Lord. Why settle for less? Glory to God. Brother Adams, you better come up here. Okay, God. I'm